Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Geller and you are watching Quick and Kosher in the Raw. No music, no tricks, totally uncut. This is how I cook in my kitchen with my friends, Tamara Genger. Hi. Hi. You're very happy to be here tomorrow, right? I'm so right? excited. So relaxed, so happy. I'm relaxed, I'm happy. Okay, we're gonna eat. That's it, we're gonna eat lots of food. Awesome, okay, <laughs> and, to, and that's tomorrow. and now we have Adasa here on the other side. Hey. Do you know all the players? And we are making barbecue meatloaf. So guys, this is like the ultimate comfort food, right? Would you agree? Totally. One of them? Yeah, totally. Right. But winter, spring, summer, fall, right? Any um, time of year. Meatloaf any time of year. Don't you make them all the time and keep them in I the do. freezer? I do. I make a lot of meatloaf and um, I keep it in the freezer. I pull it out for Friday night. It's cold for a sandwich. Do you keep them oh. frozen and then cook them? No, I cook them before I freeze them. Cook them before you freeze I'm always afraid of, of handling raw meat and then leaving it, you know, defrosting it and then right. refreezing it. So I, I cook it and then I freeze and it. It still comes out moist and fluffy. Yes. Fabulous. Okay, so we've got the best recipe here. This is from my first book, Quick and Kosher Recipes from the Bride Who Knew Nothing. Tamara's got it here because I can't remember to save my life. So tomorrow you're going to read it out to me. But I think I know we start with about two pounds of ground beef, right? Yep, you got it. Okay, so this is a little bit more than two pounds here that I have in my bowl. Yummy, delicious red ground beef. Next we have, the best thing about this recipe and like all my favorite recipes, just throw it all in, right? into the bowl, one bowl. I love that when you can just have a list of ingredients and be like, mix them all together in the bowl and then put them in the pan and bake them. So that's one of these recipes. So we've got, I, I think I might impress myself here. Two tablespoons of onion powder. Am I Two, right? Yep. I'm not going it. total order Check. because it doesn't matter. Yeah. Check, okay. Garlic powder too? Yep. Tablespoons okay. right in. Bread comes about three quarters, right? Three quarter cup. Okay, seasoned and thrown in. And we have parsley, right? In Tamara's house, she uses fresh parsley, veggie chops. <laughs> in the quick and kosher house and in Hadassah's house, we use the dry parsley, right? Of course. We love it. Less work. Yeah. And it's done for you. Fabulous. Okay. One tablespoon. Yep, one tablespoon. Okay, look, different strokes for different folks, yeah. right? Okay, eggs. Now we know Hadassah <laughs> <laughs> loves to separate eggs. Oh no. You don't have to separate these. Just check it for me. She's gonna crack one, I'm gonna crack one. These don't have to be separated. It only says one egg. All right, I have a little bit more than two pounds of ground beef. More than two pounds, okay. Yeah, so I'm adding an extra egg, but you're absolutely right with that. It only says one egg in the recipe for two pounds. But I have a little bit more, so I'm adding a little bit more. And we check it for blood spots. Make sure, Hadassah should have trusted you. Yes, she should have. You did have. that already. You know what? You know what goes down in a kosher kitchen. So I'm gonna wash my hands off because I get a little egg on them. And next, the secret to my meatloaf and why I call it barbecue meatloaf is barbecue sauce. Very good. So Come you do on. use barbecue Thanks. sauce, just not in your challenge. Right, right, exactly. Hundred <laughs> percent, totally. It doesn't go in challenge, but there's a time and a place for everything. Okay. Meatloaf is one of those. Because I make my meatloaf without barbecue sauce. But the whole bottle goes into your chillant. Yes. Because you have none left for your meatloaf. Exactly. Right. Okay, fabulous. <laughs> so we've got Geffen barbecue sauces here. Ladies, read them out. What kind? Home style barbecue. What's that one say? A bold Hickory recipe. smoked barbecue. Yeah. And I've got bold. They've got a few other flavors too, but these are oh. sort of the more traditional that I put off, put off the shelf. After that, you've got a lot of interesting onion, garlic things. Oh, I nice. think I'm in sort of like in a home style mood. What do you guys think? Yeah. Go so for it. You can it. use anything. Any anything barbecue you're sauce like. that you like, any flavor that works for you, anything. If you guys like spicy, go spicy. But right. for my kids, and I just feel like going very uber traditional here, I think I'm going to go for a home style with my barbecue Great. meatloaf. Okay, so I think it's half a cup, right? Yep. I'm going to put a touch more, just because, again, I've got a little bit over two pounds of ground beef. You know, they never do that for you in the stores. It's never exact. Yeah, it's like so annoying. Right. The recipe, like, we work so hard to make sure you get two pounds or one and a half pounds because who's going to do a recipe with 2.35 pounds, except they always yeah. add it like that at the store. But it's okay, add a touch more, or if you're under 2.5 pounds, you could actually probably like keep everything the same and you'll be fine. This is where we get our hands dirty like real chefs. Oh, this is the best part. Right. I love the squelchiness. Now, I'm really crazy about this. I don't overhandle my meat because then it gets tough. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. That's it. You just want everything evenly combined because you don't want like patches of dry breadcrumbs and stuff. Ooh, will you do the honor, Sadasa? Sure. Little cooking spray right into this this pan. So Saki, you can wave so everyone knows you're behind the camera. Wave, Saki. So this pan, Saki says to me, don't you have anything nicer we could use on camera? This is a lifesaver, our family heirloom pan, and I will not not cook in this. 
You following? Yeah, oh, totally. Two negatives make a positive, right? Totally. This pen brings me mazel. It brings me luck. It's from my husband's grandmother. It's been through this family for like four generations or maybe even five. I love it, and I'm using it for my meatloaf and lots of other things, too. Go for okay? it. Okay, right. so we put this into our pan, just drop it in gently. Make sure. How do you do your, am I doing any techniques, Hadassah, that you agree with or don't agree with? Because I know you've got opinions. Um, <laughs> I have opinions. No, I do it more or less the same way. Right. Okay. I do. Uh, we, we had this whole big disagreement at the beginning of our marriage when my husband, he was insistent that his mother put mashed potatoes inside the meatloaf. Right. What's and I said, I no, that. put them on top. Are you oh. going to put anything inside? You're going to put hard boiled eggs, right? I don't put any of that. Oh, wow. I don't put any of that in my meatloaf. It's right. pure meatloaf. Totally. I make a glaze on top with tomato sauce and balsamic vinegar and sugar and water. And right. it's wow. really good. That's my friend Pam Reese's recipe. And it's just, it's great. Okay, so I'm totally with you, but at the same time, I don't feel like any of that is wrong. You could put something in, you could put something on top. When I do a turkey spinach meatloaf, I do like a ketchup on top, which mm. is really nice. And here, about 45 minutes into cooking, we're gonna put a barbecue sauce glaze right on top, make things easy. Oh, yeah. The same sauce that we used on the inside, we're gonna put on top and throw it into the oven. So let me wash my hands and we'll take this to the oven. So how long are we tomorrow? 35, uh, 350, right? 350 for one hour. Right, so we're gonna, Come check at 45 minutes, a little addition that I'm doing right now. And we're okay. going to put the little barbecue sauce glaze on top. Right. Now, I do love how your glaze sounds, but, you know, we just want to make it simpler and easier for people, right? Oh, yeah. For Take sure. this puppy to the oven. 350. 350 in about 45 minutes, we'll check it and put our glaze on top. Okay, so looking beautiful, exactly what we'd like. We're going to use the same homestyle barbecue sauce that we used in the meatloaf on top. I'm catching the sauce, just drizzling on top. And we're gonna brush it on. Maybe I should offer the guys on the lawn mowers some meatloaf. Nothing <laughs> like a meatloaf at 11 o'clock on a 95 degree day. <laughs> oh, it smells yeah. delicious. Smells good, right? I want yeah. to do actually a little more and be a little generous with my glaze. This is a perfect topping. Ketchup also works, but this particular recipe will be best with the same sauce that we used in it. Be a perfect complement, okay? So it looks good. Putting it back in. Another 15 minutes and we are good to go. So take it, hot baby. Throw it in. It gets a little brown bubbly, caramelized, 15. We'll check back. Okay, great, so our meatloaf is done. Turn our timer off. Pull it out. Oh, this looks exactly like we want. Look how beautiful, Safia. See, give it a little, uh. Okay, we're gonna, oh, how does it smell? Mm, it's like divine. Here. Go smell. Oh, yum. Yum. You love this? Mm. Okay, delish, delish. I'm going to pull out the plates. Now, normally, we let it cool for a few minutes. Let me just take a picture. For it's good Facebook for Facebook, page. right? Let's get it on. So many initials. I love it, like, nice and rustic like this. Like, I'm not so into it has to be exactly flat and smooth on top. More important that it's fluffy, flavorful, delicious. Okay, Hadassah, how many meatloaves do you make at a time? Uh, at least two, sometimes three. It depends how much uh, ground meat I've bought. So that's like you're in the uh, six pounds of ground beef? Something like that, yeah. Oh, baby. Okay, gorgeous. This is what we want. Perfect meatloaf. Oh, I love the smell of this. This I cannot wait to dig into. Who's getting this big mama slice? Who's got a... <laughs> Don't let me you. <laughs> Sometimes I'll make it just so I can have it the next day for sandwiches. Right. It's oh, like, that's so wow. fabulous. And a sourdough bread. Oh, a nice, Good crunchy, morning. crusty bread. Totally. Yeah. That is well, huge. you look like you could eat that. I gave it to her because she looks like she eats that much. Yeah, right. Tomorrow, on the other <laughs> hand, you get a small piece. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm also cutting 
So, uh, Habi said that we moan too much in the challah videos. So, tone it down, ladies, okay? He's like, you moaned and looked to the right, then you moaned and looked to the left. And I'm like, oh. So he's like, cut down on the moaning. This is breaking as we go. Oh, that is delicious. How are we going? Mm -hmm. Can you taste the barbecue flavor in there? Yeah, it's really yeah. good. I'm so excited. But it's not in your face. It's uh -huh. subtle. No, not too strong. I still really taste the meat flavor. Mm. <laughs> he's doing mm. it again. <laughs> Faux pas. Enjoy of kosher.com. My mouth is full. Barbecue meatloaf. Delicious. It was great. We used the home style sauce, but there's hickory smoke. There is bold recipe. It's not too in your face, as you said. It's great. Great. Just perfect. Perfect. Perfect meatloaf. Excellent. Love you guys.